Hi everyone. You should have your binders open to PR4, Graphing Proportional Relationships. You will also need a ruler when you're doing um, this set of notes, so if you need to stop the video and get a ruler, go ahead and do that. What we're going to do today is combine everything we've been working with, charts, equations, and now we're going to put graphs with those. Determine if the relationship shown in the table is proportional. Then graph each point on the coordinate plane and connect with a straight line. Continue your line through your points through the y-axis. So remember when we look at a chart, we always do y divided by x. And as I go through here and divide y by x, that's 2, 2, 2, 2. So they all have that constant of proportionality. So it is proportional. My constant is 2, and my equation is y equals 2x. These are all things that we have been working on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph this chart. So again, remember that the horizontal line is your x. You always move the horizontal first and then up for the vertical. So my first point is 2, 4 going to go over 2, up 4, and I'm going to put a dot where those two intersect. My next point is 3, 6, 4, 8, 5, 10, and you don't have the um, 12 on your graph. My paper's a little bit different than yours, so it's fine for you to stop here. You need to get your ruler, line the ruler up with the points, and draw a line. Okay, go into the second one. Okay, again, remember y divided by x. Well, this is 6. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I can already tell that this is not proportional. There is no constant, and there's no equation. As soon as you find one ratio that does not simplify, you're done. But let's take a look at the graph. So let's go over 1 and up 6. Let's go over 2 and up 8. And then over 3 and up 10. And then I'm going to just connect these two lines, or three lines, three points. Okay. Okay, let's look at number 3. Now, again, be careful with number 3 because remember it's y over x. And what's going to happen is this is going to be 2 over 3. That's perfectly fine. 4 over 6 simplifies to 2 over 3. 6 over 9 simplifies to 2 over 3. 8 over 12 simplifies to 2 over 3. Is it proportional? Yes. My constant is 2 thirds. My equation is y equals 2 thirds times x. Now I'm going to graph it. So I'm going over 3 and up 2, put your point, over 6, up 4, over 9, up 6, and again, you don't have 12 on your graph, so I'm going to stop there. I'm going to line up the ruler. And I'm going to connect. All right, last graph on this side. Again, remember it's y over x. That's one third. Well, 2 over 4 simplifies to 1 half. 3 over 5 is already simplified, so this is not proportional. There's no constant. There's no equation. So remember, in order for you to be able to write an equation, you have to have a constant of proportionality. But let's just go ahead and take a look at this graph. So again, I'm going to go over 3 and up 1. I'm going to go over 4 and up 2, over 5. 
3, and then over 6, up 4. And I'm going to connect the line, or connect the points to make a line. Now, you should notice um, a couple things as we're going through here. And particularly, I want you to notice the graphs of the proportional relationship. So that's this first one and number three. And then look at two and four because those are not proportional. Well, what you should notice, first of all, is that the graph of a proportional relationship is a straight line. Okay? Now, two and four are straight lines, but they're not proportional. And let's talk about what else makes it proportional. And that's this last part. Notice that both 1 and 3 pass through the origin. They pass through 0, 0. 2 and 4 do not. So the graph of a proportional relationship meets two requirements. The first one is it's a straight line. The second is it passes through the origin. If your graph is not straight and it doesn't pass through the origin, it is not proportional. Okay, flip over to the back of this page, and we're going to continue with the graphs. Now, the graphs you have back here, these are actually working with word problems. And so what we're going to do is we are just going to first graph it. So I'm going to go over 1, up 3. I'm going to go over 2, up 5. I'm going to go over... 7 and up 3. Okay, wait a minute. What am I doing here? Um, remember that this is my X and Y. Okay, so I'm going over 3 and up 7. Sorry, guys, I got myself confused here. Um, go over 3, up 7, and then over 4 and up 9. Okay, now be careful when you connect this one because what you should notice right away is that when I connect this, it is not going through the origin. And I actually know that just by looking at the chart. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 5 divided by 2 is not 3. So this is not proportional. And it's not proportional because it doesn't go through the origin, plus it's not constant. All right, so determine whether the cost is proportional. My answer is not proportional, not constant. If I'm going to look at the graph, doesn't go through the origin. Okay, so again, I could tell right away this was not proportional just by going through and dividing y by x, or cost by number. But if I just look at the graph, I can also tell whether it's proportional. Straight line, but it doesn't go through the origin. All right, let's look at number two. The slowest mammal on Earth is the tree sloth. It moves at a rate of six feet per minute. Determine whether the number of feet the sloth moves is proportional to the number of minutes it moves by graphing and then explain. So right away we're going to put a point at 0, 0. Well, that's going to tell you this is going to go through the origin. Over 1, up 6. Now I realize that your lines are not visible, neither are mine, so just do a good, the best job you can with it. Also notice that it's counting by 2, so just be careful. So go over 2, up 12. Go over 3, up 18 and then over 4 and up 24. Connect the points. <coughs> now, is this a proportional relationship? Yes. Straight line. Through the origin. I could also tell that it's proportional just by going up and doing that feet divided by minutes. So 6, 6, 6, and 6. So now, 
When we have a graph, we need to be able to identify the constant of proportionality, and we can. The constant of proportionality is always the point on the graph where x is 1 and y is my number. We're also going to refer to that y as k, which is that constant of proportionality. Additionally, you can find the constant of proportionality by finding the ratio of y over x for any point on the line. Now, I know this might sound a little bit confusing, and if you don't understand that, that's fine. Bring it tomorrow, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. But when I look at two graphs, and let's just take a look at the two graphs right here. This first graph is the price of soda in a vending machine. So along the bottom are the number of cans of soda, and then going across the top, or on the y-axis, is the cost. And if you see your points, remember that when I graph, it's always x, y. But remember, when I look at my constant of proportionality, it's y over x. So I can take any point on a graph that's proportional, and I know this is proportional because it's a straight line and it goes through 0, and I can write the y over x. So 2 over 1 is my constant of proportionality. And my equation is y equals 2x. So any graph that is proportional, you can write the equation. So again, let's take a look at walking speed. I have hours along the x. I have miles on the y. Now, the only thing that they didn't do on here, and it's a little hard to see, is they don't have the points identified. So I'm going to go through here and put those in. This first one is 2, 1. Second one is 4, 2. So here again, I know this is proportional. It's a straight line, and it goes through 0. So if I take my y over x, so I take my 1 over 2, that's my constant. My equation, then, is y equals 1 half x. I know this description right here can be a little bit confusing, so don't get too worried about it. Just always look at the points. The most important thing you have to make sure you do is set it up y over x. That's how I get my constant of proportionality. Make sure you fill in your Google form, bring any questions you have to class tomorrow.